If all statues on earth came to life and became hostile, which one would be the deadliest slash scariest and be the most difficult to destroy? The giant Genghis Khan statue in Mongolia. It even has a horse to ride on and it's very big. Imagine Genghis Khan and that giant Christ the Redeemer going at it like they're in the octagon. There's got to be a big Ganesha statue somewhere right? We could have something like this. From what I understand, there are a lot of big ducking Buddhas in Asia. We are Buddha.Resistance is futile.You will be enlightened. Enlighten this. Pump shotgun. Choose bubblegum. Runs out of bubblegum. Veil. Time to kick ass. Imagine Brazil being terrorized by a giant Jesus Christ at it. How? He would definitely kick the Statue of Liberty's ass. She 3x taller at 305 feet, but she's also made of copper and hollow. Christ the Redeemer is 98 feet of soapstone. But the 131 feet mounted on horseback statue of Genghis Khan in Mongolia is made of stainless steel. And I think he'd know how to throw down. But could he take on the Lashan giant Buddha statue? Solid stone 233 feet maybe Buddha could duke it out with India's statue of unity, hollow bronze over a steel framework, but a whopping 597 feet tall. Seems like you've put some previous thought into this. Man's got statue facts that's for sure. Girls only like guys with statue facts. This is true? I just imagine the heads of Mount Rushmore not being able to actually do anything so they just commentate on all the shit that's going down. They're the old man Muppets. Statler and Waldorf. A 250-ton, polished stainless steel statue, portraying Genghis Khan saddled on his horse. How about a 190-foot-tall, 1,200-ton Guanyu? Or a 250-foot Vishnu riding Garuda? or the motherland calls. There's a statue of Superman in Metropolis, Illinois. I don't know of any statues of kryptonite, so he'd be pretty hard to handle. I've been there. There actually is a chunk of kryptonite on display a few blocks away, but the sign says scientists work to make it harmless to Superman. I guess they'll regret that choice when he comes to life to kill us all. Goddamn stone scientists going by their crazy stone scientist rules. Lucifer. Already killed its creator and it wasn't even alive yet. As long as the Genghis Khan statue and Lucifer don't meet I feel we can take them down separately. The life-size Gundam statue in Japan. There are also a few Godzillas in Japan. A few? You have no idea how many Godzillas there are, do you? No, no I do not. This one in Oslo, Norway of a man fighting several babies. Lamau, is there a backstory? It's one of a bunch by the same artist all exploring various aspects of the human experience. I've never heard any more in-depth explanation of this one in particular or what experience it's supposed to symbolize, other than kicking a bunch of babies asses. What experience it's supposed to symbolize, other than kicking a bunch of babies asses. To be fair though. Do we need any other explanation? But why is he doing it naked? Okay. Maybe we need other explanation. The baby stole his clothes. In Krakow, Poland we have a statue of a dragon. And it breathes fire. I don't need to tell you more. Flammed to death by giant polished stone dragon. Wonder where it will attack first. Germany. The correct answer. The Terracotta Army, 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses. They've been waiting for this moment for 2,200 years. Just 22 more years. That's been the plan all along. They're fans of the number two. One might say they like that number a little too much at it, Starting this pun chain was just too easy. 2CH Would Mount Rushmore come to life as four separate president heads or would the whole mountain pick itself up? 
Anger.com yeah that's pretty scary. For politicians, I'm not concerned with their ability to agree on a task, much less achieve one. Every step, a literal act of Congress. Color me unafraid. Giant rock monster Roosevelt gently plants trees. Giant rock monster Washington tends to his tobacco farm. Giant rock monster Lincoln reads. Giant rock monster Jefferson writes giant rock manuscripts about political theory. You know, I feel the media really hyped this up as more apocalyptic than it really was. I read this as giant rock lobster Roosevelt, giant rock lobster Washington etc. The 200 feet giant bird sculptor in India, Jatayu Earth Center. India would be ducked from all of the statues they have. You have no idea how right you are NSFW statuary. I feel bad for the elephant horse hybrid. The motherland calls she's almost 300 feet tall and is carrying a massive sword. The statue of unity in India is 600 feet tall. Have fun fighting a walking skyscraper. It's supposed to be symbol of peace, but op said they were all hostile. So yes, this one. It finally realized the only way to create permanent peace was to eliminate the cause of all war. Humans. And now you understand Gandhi from the video game Civilization. Lawn Statues. A massive evil army of tiny gnomes and lawn jockeys riding flamingos. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Gnomeo and Juliet? I thought not, it's not a story the gardeners would tell you. The giant jelly bean in Chicago it has too much power. That ducking statue has been sentient and hostile for years now. Every time I look closely at it, some ugly duck copycats me. Destroy at all costs. These absolutely bloody terrifying abominations because nope nope nope. I why but I laugh so gd hard at that. It's literally 2.48 a.m. and I laughed at toaster-headed crawling statues. Where tf did my life go wrong? The gargoyles? I think gargoyles would actually fight on the human side. They were made to be guardians to protect mankind from evil. Disney should make a cartoon about this. But then cancel it and make it functionally unavailable on any platform for decades until they bring it back to help promote a new streaming service. Don't forget removing the creator and head writer for the last season effectively ruining what could be an amazing third season. I love this question. I don't think it would be the deadliest or scariest but all I could think of right off the bat was the Lincoln Memorial and just watching Abe getting up off his chair and how terrifying that would be to watch. Ever seen Night at the Museum? That was exactly my thought, looking back that entire movie is like a fever dream. A statue of Medusa. She would turn all the others back into statues. She would only make them stronger. Statue 2. DD miniatures are tiny statues, right? Tut it'd be terrifying to me. A swarm of tiny fantasy monsters, wizards, knights, etc. overtaking the land. The Sphinx. The Mamun statues would be pretty scary. I was having a good night you know that. Nothing bad happened today and then this. I feel like it's actually those hideous precious moments figurines. They have creepy, vaguely insectal eyes, and there are millions of them. Just picture them swarming out of every Hallmark store and cheap boutique. Christ the Redeemer in Brazil. He's 125 feet tall and apparently he shoots lasers out of his hands at Dottinger.com. Clearly not the most intimidating but the come at me, bro pose is unsettling. T-Post glitch. So, if no one is looking, they actually do move. Don't blink. I just finished watching this episode 6 minutes ago. Creepy. In India statues? Damn we have so many statues of lion, and lords and people to give them respect, every little town has a statue of someone, and mostly crossroads also have statues so that would be a load of rocks and stones to destroy. This one if I remember correctly, Spain is one of the few countries in the world that has a statue of the devil. And this one is located in a very famous and centric park in Madrid. If this one finds four horsemen then we are screwed. Edit, I forgot to add the best part, the statue stands at 666 meters above sea level.